Hello, John Talley here with Partzilla.com. Today I'm going to show you how to rebuild the front brake master cylinder on our 2008 Honda CBR600RR. Honda has this nice little kit put together with all the internals. So, let's start off by just getting all the brake fluid drained out of it and I'll show you how to get it rebuilt. All right, guys, let's go through some of the tools you're going to need to get this job done. Um, just a standard uh, flat blade screwdriver, 3 8 ratchet, a couple of different sockets. I believe that's a 10 and an 8. A uh, 12 millimeter just open end wrench. And this little guy comes in handy. It's just a 90 degree Phillips. A, uh, a punch pick tool. And then more, the most specific tool that you're going to need is a set of circlet pliers and then just a regular set of needle nose pliers. All of this, and uh, th th that'll be all you need to get it done. Before we start pulling out the fluid, we need to go ahead and get the, uh, the cap pulled off. To do that, they've got a little bracket on the back side. Why is it there? I'm not entirely certain. But uh, I guess it keeps it from lifting off if you somehow unscrewed it. A little bit of uh, redundancy, but uh, I wasn't in on that design meeting. All right, let's go ahead and extract the fluid out of there. That ought to do it. All right. We can pretty much take off this entire assembly. But what we need to do is, uh, so let's start off with the handle. It has a 10 millimeter bolt on the bottom. It's more or less a, a lock nut. Once you get it off, it's just a flat blade to get the pivot pin out. All right. Next, let's go ahead and get the uh, switch disconnected. And it's just a switch, so there's no polarity involved there. All right, next, let's go for the main line, heading down to the calipers. When you disconnect this, you want to make sure that no brake fluid gets onto the fairing. So I have a, a paper towel ready to go, should uh, any drip on there, which is definitely going to happen. Yep, there it goes. And when you're removing this banjo bolt, there's going to be two crush washers. You need to keep up with both of those. One on the bottom, and then one on the top. Now, you should just be able to get these two 8 millimeters on the back side, and the assembly should come off. And what conditions would bring about you needing to rebuild this? If you've got a real spongy kind of feel in the, uh, the brake lever, it's not really uh, activating the front brakes properly bled it and you're sure there's no air in the system, well chances are the seals that provide that pressure are probably uh, worn out. And there she is. All right, well, let's carry her over to the, uh, the teardown table and uh, we'll get it pulled apart. All right guys, got it over here on the bench. Now we just need to pull it apart. Basically it's all held in by this one little uh, circlip on the outside. So let's get that uh, Get this uh, rubber boot out of the way, get this um, circlip out, and then all of this stuff that you see on the, uh, in this kit will be crammed inside here. So we'll pull that out, the old stuff out and get the new stuff in. Bore looks good, nice and smooth. Get a little bit of fluid on our new seals. Then let's get her put back together. See how good your dexterity is. All right, guys, she is all in there now. So Let's get it mounted back on the machine. It's pretty much just the exact reverse of what we did to take it apart. All right, let's go and get your uh, main hose down below put on. Don't forget your crush washers, one on the bottom, other one on the top. All 
right, next, let's go ahead and get that brake lever switch hooked up. Remember, these are not, the polarity doesn't matter. Non-specific, they don't care. All right, after that, go ahead and clean up our pin right here, put some new grease on it, then get our lever in, in place. pitch bolt on the bottom. All right guys, well that pretty much wraps it up. The only thing we have to do now is just refill the system with some DOT4 brake fluid and then bleed the system. And if you would uh, reference our video, we'll show you how to get that done. Well, listen, if you need any of the parts that we use to come see us at partzilla.com, we can get you taken care of. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer it. And until next time, we just want to say thanks for watching.